subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <coughs> <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, Oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the Oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the Oriental Pied Hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully, the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight. We're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry. We'll help you find your home. Look, Leo. The Hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby hornbills. We did it. We found the oriental pied hornbills nest. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. 
So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The smooth-coated otter. Hero, over here, buddy. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great. Let's see who can jump the highest on this trampoline. I'll show you. All you have to do is jump as high as you can like this. Ta-da! Now it's your turn, Hero. <laughs> Very good, Hero. Baby Otter. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the Otter as we speak. There you go. This little one is a smooth-coated otter. So, it has a smooth coat? Yes, that's exactly how it gets its name. A smooth-coated otter is a type of otter that has shorter and smoother fur. They also have a rounder head and a hairless nose that looks quite like the shape of a diamond. Where do they come from? Smooth-coated otters live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Cool! I wonder what kind of food it eats. Smooth-coated otters usually eat plenty of fish, but it's an omnivore, which means it can eat different types of plants and small animals, too. Hmm, I'm afraid it won't find all that food here. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us! Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby otter would love that. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. Like the only way to get to that river is to cross this one. No problem. Come on, everyone. Thanks, Leo. Now we can get to the other side in no time. little guy. We're going to find your family very soon. Look, we're getting closer. <coughs> What's the matter, hero? Oh no, the little guy's in danger. We have to save it from those crocodiles. You two. They're still chasing us. We'll have to go faster. Leave it to me. Whoa! Watch out for those rocks, Katie. We made it. Looks like they won't be chasing us anymore. Excellent. We did it! We found the baby otter's family. 
Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! Today, we found a baby smooth-coated otter in our garden. We learned that the smooth-coated otter lives in places with lots of fresh water and greenery. So we went to a river by the forest and found its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The vervet monkey. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> Hero, we're having a picnic again. Here are my snacks. So where's yours? Where's your bone? <laughs> Did you find it, Hero? Hey, I thought there were more grapes and apples. Hmm. Oh, hi, Hero. You found your bone. I seem to have lost some food. <laughs> Do you know where it might be? <laughs> what? A monkey? Oh, hello. Do you want to join us with a picnic? The monkey really seems to like the fruit. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find out about the monkey? Hi, Leo. This monkey is called a vervet monkey. And as you have noticed, vervet monkeys like fruit a lot. They also eat things like leaves and flowers. And occasionally they eat insects and even birds, eggs, and lizards. Vervet monkeys have cheek pouches, which means they can store food in their cheeks and save it for later. The vervet monkey lives in certain parts of Africa. There, vervet monkeys live in trees. They look for food on the ground during the day, and at night, they sleep in the trees. What's that beeping sound? Oh, it's an alert. Oh, no. It seems that a young vervet monkey was brought into the country recently, and that's against the law. I think it's the monkey you found in the garden. Then we should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. Let's go. Sound. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> hey, vervet monkey, where are you going? Leo, that could have been the alarm call Ranger Rocky told us about. Remember? When they sense danger, the vervet monkeys warn each other by making an alarm call. So that's why our vervet monkey ran off. It's trying to hide. Come on, let's join him. Are you okay, Katie? I'm okay, Leo. This hole must be some kind of trap to capture wild animals. How are we going to get out of here? It's too high. Hero, can you help us? I hope there's nothing dangerous out there. Hero, is that you? It's the monkey! They found something to help us climb out. Good work, monkey and hero. You saved us. Now let's get you back home. <laughs> Look, Leo. It's the vervet monkey's mother. 
We did it! We found the young vervet monkey's home and its troop. Great work, everyone! Hooray! Hooray! We found a young vervet monkey in our garden. We learned that vervet monkeys live in troops and that they warn each other with alarm calls. So we took it home to reunite it with its troop and mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The plantain squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey! Are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh no, we have to save it. I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh no, it's too late. Whoa! Whoa! 
That was amazing, Baby Squirrel. That was exciting. I guess we better go somewhere else. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Satin Bowerbird. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm looking for objects written on this list. Do you want to help me? Oh, great job, Hero. You found a ball. Hey, that's my sock. I've been looking for it. And this must be Katie's ribbon. Why are they all here? Did you take the blue objects from us? Is blue its favorite color? I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, did you find out what kind of bird this is? We're about to find out in three, two, there you go. This bird is a satin bowerbird. A satin bowerbird? I've never heard of those birds before. So they come mainly from the east coast of Australia. That's right. The one in our garden is an adult male. Females and young males are greenish in color. They live in the woods and eat fruit, leaves, and some insects. They are called bowerbirds because the males build a bower to attract females. A bower? A bower is a structure only built by male bowerbirds. It is built on the ground. It looks like a bird's nest. But a bower is not a nest. Nests are where female birds lay their eggs. A bower is only used by male bowerbirds to attract female bowerbirds. This satin bowerbird might have built his bower somewhere, but it got lost. We should help him find his bower. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Satin Bowerbird, wait for us! Look, Katie, is that a bower? It is, Leo, which means we found it. But why is it taking things from the bower and putting it in the jeep? Um, I don't know. Hello, Junior Rangers. I forgot to tell you something important. Sometimes bowerbirds destroy bowers from other birds by stealing their decoration or removing twigs. Oh no, so that's what it's doing now. Thanks for telling us, Ranger Rocky. No, bowerbird, you shouldn't do that. He won't stop. Hey, where are you going, Hero? Oh, Hero, that's a brilliant idea. The bird seems more interested in the flowers now. He completely forgot about the bower. Nice work, Hero. 
Let's quickly fix the bower before its owner comes back. Look, the owner of the bower is back. We found the bower of our satin bower bird. Great work, everyone! Hooray! We found a satin bower bird in our garden. We learned that male bower birds build bowers to attract females. So we took him to the rainforest to look for his bower. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.